Yes, I was trying to describe to you that they do have. Um, I mean, I would. I think I would have reacted differently to these things. Uh -huh. I I think I would. I would have uh, reacted differently to. To which one? To Anoffs. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, that's the, uh, the other one's a tough act to follow. Yeah. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Well, I have some questions for you. I know you were, uh, yeah. as in, I know you wanted me to ask you no, ahead of time. We, no, you can just keep on going. Keep we can do this silently, and then after that, you can we can film questions. No, I I, I want to ask you questions now. <laughs> All right. Are you taping? No, nope, I want to ask those questions now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taping. No, I may be, or I may not. Oh. It doesn't make any difference. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anything so tell me, you say can be held against you. Yes. So tell me, why, why is it that you want you, you feel like you want to, to, to tell me what, what it is you're doing? What is it that you're really doing here? What is it? Well, let's say that if I were to die tomorrow, mm -hmm. I want to know that what I'm leaving behind really stands for who I am stands for what I would have stood by, or for what I stood for. And I don't want this work to represent who I was. And I don't want this work to be my legacy. What, what is wrong with this work? I see that's beautiful huh? stuff, and it's beautiful, it's, it's captivating. What is wrong with this work? Subject matter. This and these are part of a series, Altars and Shrines of Haiti, as you know. And I'm not destroying all of them, just four of them. And... What's wrong with those four? I mean, what, what is... The, the subject matter is what? Is, is it voodoo? Is it just the fact that it is about a part of Haiti that you're not proud of. It's about a subject no. that you think you mistakenly, or you know, whatever, found interest in, and or it's about a subject that you just lost interest in. What is what is wrong about it that well, makes I did, you not I want? Did, I did lose interest in this subject matter. It corresponds to a phase, but it's not just an issue of phase because there are things that I've lost interest in. Before and that I'm not destroying. Um, and not all of that phase is being destroyed. It's just these. It's, it's, it's what they say subliminally. <coughs> you know, this whole thing about voodoo started as in sort of an intellectual research and an intellectual endeavor. Mm -hmm. It was also an emotional endeavor in the sense that I wanted to connect with, with, uh, with my, my background, Haiti, sort of investigate all of that that I grew up with without really being aware that it was part of me. There are different, every culture, there are different aspects, there are different subcultures, and, and the whole subculture of voodoo, I grew up impregnated by it unwittingly. I grew up as a Catholic, in a very strict family, Catholic-wise. Um, but at night you, you hear drums and you're raised um, among people who, who talk about stories of their lives, different classes of, of society. And, and I've absorbed all of that and yet I'm separated from it. So 
as any kind of person in exile, you, you learn about your roots, you question and you wonder. And, uh, and in one form or another, you, you claim them as part of yourself. And um, so it all started, in a sense, with studies of anthropology and uh, going back to Haiti, wanting to reconnect with, with my country, with my people, and, and discover what I didn't know. And in discovering and in searching, I discovered was part of me and I didn't know was part of me. I've always had, I think, an open mind and, and respects for all, all cultures, all religions, all, all of the different manifestations of, of, of human beings, but in some ways it's good and I think in some ways it has played against me because without knowing it, I've opened myself to influences. And we don't need to be mystical about this issue of influences. If you think of, uh, on, a, on a daily basis, we're under influence. We grow up under influence of our families, our parents, uh, and then eventually in life, the people we decide to love, who, who we allow to enter our lives, our, our surroundings, uh, we are under their influence. And, and um, smells, sounds, is everything reaches us, and, and the body stores all of that. But in as much as I think, what I think now is that in as much as we all created equal by God, what human beings do with what they're given is not equal. And I don't know that I respect all of human endeavors equally, and in this case, all religions equally. In trying to, to respect, to love, to discover cultures, people, and myself, I'm not sure I've even understood all of this, and I'm not sure I even understand what, what I'm doing here. And. Uh, And there's a discomfort there. So why why is it that you would, you would only why is it why? that you would, why would you only destroy four of them? Why not destroy the whole lot of voodoo impregnated masterpieces? <laughs> it's not an issue of voodoo impregnated. Well, that was that was the question. The, my question was why you you cited voodoo as. An example, and you did also say that. You know, you and I were discussing something earlier that had to do with the connection of love and violence, mm -hmm. and it pertains to new awarenesses in my life, or at least new positions. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I believe in God, mm -hmm. and I know nowadays it's, it's unsophisticated, it's uncultured, and it's uncool, but but I do, and besides the fact that I do. I want to. If there is no God, this life makes no sense. And I find it unbearable. But I do believe. And I accept that we can't understand everything. And if I believe in something or someone or an entity or whatever it is, I, I sort of ponder about its nature and how to how to find out what comes from him and what, what does not. And there is an issue of choice. Not only do I believe, but I want to believe. So which means this is where I want to go. This is the influence under which I want to be and live. And we wonder, well, I have wondered the meaning about the meaning of, of love in our lives, its, its function, its reasons. And, and as Christians, we, we all grew up under this incredible act of sacrifice, of, of love of Christ. So there's an issue of, of sacrifice connected to love and, and a choice and to love enough to want to, to die and to give up. So, So 
so there is an, an element of, of, of sacrifice and choice here and where I want to put my allegiance. And I don't want to put my allegiance in with anything that doesn't seem to come from God. And since God is not all that talkative <laughs> or visible, <laughs> unless we look for it in very intricate, subtle ways, then he's very chatty. But it could be said it's all imagination, but nevertheless, I have a flourishing one, so I, um, I find messages. So in some ways, I feel I have been told which paintings to destroy. And at the base of all of that is the decision that anything that has violence and pain and selfishness and, uh, and greed doesn't come from God. Sometimes you hear of people loving you. They love you. Yet they hurt you. They create an incredible atmosphere of violence around you. They want you selfishly, greedily. They want to use you, manipulate you. They can't live without you. But in my mind, this can't be love. Because if God is love, and we take that as face value, simply just that, love is God, God is love. The presence of God has to feel good. There has to be joy with it. So when there is sadness, Can't say there is no. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm talking way beyond my head there. I well, but uh, this 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 is uh, interesting. You bring about talking about this this painting in particular. Mm -hmm. Besides the fact, because, as I've told you, I, I feel I have received indications of which paintings were to go, mm -hmm. and whether it's my private deal with God and my private sacrifice for, or the test I'm given mm -hmm. uh, to, to, for for whatever. I have questions, why this one, why not that one? Mm -hmm. Because there is a vast collection. Um, and, and I think I understand why this one. And well, let me, this let one, mm -hmm. in particular, this is a woman in a room, mm -hmm. closed in mm -hmm. within something. She opens the door to whatever, and she has also entered into whatever. And so this painting, in a sense, subliminally gives the message that it's all right to open the door to whatever and to enter a room in which you're not sure what lies. And, uh, and I think that's not good. You know, we talk about subliminal cuts in, in all sorts of uh, ads and publicity and, and everything. And uh, so I'm going to cut up the subliminal cut <laughs> and close in this painting. And, uh, and you know, and, and if it's true that we all have some sort of a mission in life, and, and if I do have one, and if it is painting, then I will have paint other things. And ultimately, this is just an object. It doesn't matter. We have to learn to, to give up. We have to learn to turn page, and we have to learn uh, to change. And we have to learn to die and not be afraid of it. Here's my other question. And so. there is a dying there. And I'm willing. I'm willing. You're willing to die. I'm willing. Uh, <laughs> you're willing to die. Okay. So now here's the question though. <laughs> How are you going to commit this murder? How? I'm going to cut it up. Just see, I brought the knife. Okay. So here's a question. This is carefully planned. Okay. So now this is carefully planned. You're thinking about cutting this into pieces. Well, I could How? burn it up, but this is well, more difficult. Well, here's another, here's another yeah. part to this. Yeah. Why is it that you would not paint over it? Over it? Yeah. Why would you not just take a gesso and just paint over it? Oh, 
But it won't work for my technique. Why not? Because my paint technique has to do with, with freshness and uh, of, of the paint. And, and perhaps this idea of freshness has to do with something spiritual or metaphorical or whatever. But no, it'll just be why you want it. <laughs> what do you mean? Old? <laughs> you just, old uh, yeah. yeah, why not just. Oh, well, first it? of all. If it's gessoed, mm -hmm. there are enough techniques now that it could be uncovered in years past. You sort of strip that gesso through and then you go back to the same. Possibly. I don't want this to live. Possibly, but yeah. chances are nobody's going to know that one, there is anything beneath it there. And two, mm. with your, your talent and, yeah. and, and artistic uh, and creative mind, uh, whatever you're going to replace this with, would be so good that nobody would want to go search under it. Meet. They're going to want to keep what is about. Oh, them. you trickster! Yeah. So then how <laughs> are you? A trickster. <laughs> Why would you want? <laughs> and you uh, had a plan. Okay. And you accepted to go. <laughs> so you okay? So this is this is no. One. Mm -hmm. There, there is. This is not dissembling. This is not a camouflage. This is not a pretense. I've mm -hmm. made a decision. I made a plan. I'm going to live by it. Mm -hmm. You see. Oh, so let me see. Where, so you, why did you cut that part? Just to show you that I mean business. <laughs> I see. Okay? Uh, but I'll tell you, I will cut off some parts mm -hmm. that, will, that I will keep. Oh, Because it's not, it's not her that has a problem. It's the whole. And mm -hmm. if I cut up some parts, let's say I, I'll cut her up. Well, it is interesting that you say it's not her that has it. No, it's the whole message. It's the whole composition. Oh, okay. And, and in, you know, we're all created equal. We're all created good. Hmm. So, in essence, she's good. And we all deserve another chance. Well, can you step sideways here? I've got to see if you're really cutting it because this looks... Oh, isn't that neatly cut? Oh, so even in your, um, in your moments of destructive... <coughs> in your destructive mood... Well, I am able to, to draw a straight line, so I'm able to cut a straight line. There seems to be a, a method to it. <coughs> well, I told you I was going to say it first, so... And in some ways, all of it has to do with saving her. Huh. So let me, <laughs> let me see what it is. That, but see, remember you said, here's an yeah. interesting thing. You just said to me that yeah. this... Um, I may not be consistent in what I said. Oh, that's a good... A good uh, but what's consistent in me is my yes. purpose. Well... And my desire to go back to the purity into which I was born. Oh, how possible is that? When I see a photograph... The first of place. In the first and place, that reminds me, I've heard people say things like that, and it makes me nervous. Right, how, could you, how could you go back to the purity in which you, you live? Well, you, in some ways you cannot, but, well, uh, I don't want to just... I know so many people who look like... Um, for example, look like virgins, but they are not. Virgins? Yes. Just talking about virgins. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and talking about going no. back to their purity, I mean, I would say that. Well, I read, I read some time ago in a book, and I don't want to advertise for, for anybody, so I won't say, but anything. Mm -hmm. The message was that to look for, that it's not just the mind that remembers, the body remembers. Mm -hmm. And if we are in troubled state sometimes, it is helpful to meditate on times uh, when we felt happy because mm -hmm. it will bring about that feeling and it will bring about these energies and, and that vibration. And it, it was suggested in that book to look for photographs of times when we were really happy. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't find any. Really? Um, Except for one, I must have been a few months old, or perhaps a year or so, I don't know, I can't, can't establish how old a baby is from looking. But anyway, I'm old enough to stand, and I'm in the baby's 
school, and I have this magnificent laughter. I'm all bald-headed and laughing, and, and life is, is a great, great joy and a great, great fun. And I know in me, I, I was born with that. And, and, and a baby has, has, has no violence, has no cruelty, has no manipulation, has, has no, and, uh, and I, this, is, this is what I want to go back to, yeah. to a sense of pureness of purpose and pureness of presence. Wow. I mean, it's, it's probably impossible to achieve, but, but God knows that. Yeah. We're all fallen <laughs> angels. But what matters is not necessarily the achievement, but the purpose. So here, what matters is not the painting, which mm. already no longer exists. It's, a, it's a beautiful. Uh, huh. But it's the purpose, the intention. And, and if the accomplishment does not represent the intention, mm. then it's best cut off. Anyway, you want the rooster? Let's say the rooster. The rooster's done no one no harm. I've got to say. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it's quite a shame to destroy those things. I know. I Whoever know. destroys these should be ashamed of themselves and should feel guilty for a lifetime. Yeah, but haven't you ever seen children <laughs> build up castles and then joyfully jump on them? <laughs> yes, they do that right. joyfully. Let's see. This is my son castle. My sand mandala. Mm. Okay. So here, why don't you just stand here with those two and, and tell me why. Just over there somewhere, just tell me. I don't know. I'll yeah. admit one thing. Yes. Yesterday when you called yeah. to confirm that it didn't mean a day or time, yeah. I did feel my heart did skip a few beats. Yeah. I said, oh shit. <laughs> uh -huh. And I could have done all of this silently and I am uh, And I hadn't planned to do this as, as my performance art or as some sort of a show. It is possible. A part of me told you, told a couple of friends, so that I would be sure I'd be entrapped by my own announcement. Mm. And then, if there is truly any good in what I'm doing, and I think there is, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. There might be a subliminal message in that for my friends. Mm. And it is good to do something. That would be good. <laughs> and in some ways, as I'm fighting the subliminal messages I think are in these paintings unwittingly and unbeknownst to me, the fact that I am willing to sacrifice, the fact that we 
do put things in their proper perspective and what has meaning. These are just things, and things should not matter more than beings, more than your soul. And we should not be afraid to die anyway. And if one truly believes in God, should even be less afraid, should even be eager. Should actually be great fun to die. Mm. Hopefully I'll remember that. Mm. I think somebody told me a great story about a man who was very adventurous all his life. Mm. And, uh, and there had been this French tradition in literature where all the famed people before dying were trying to have one last bon mot, you know, one last great sentence. And this man, I think, knew of that. Anyway, he was deathly ill, he was on his last minutes, and uh, what he said was, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so we should oh, all yeah. try to go to the other side without saying, Philip, watch this. Yeah. <laughs>I'm thinking something each time you remove it. I was, I was, uh, it's interesting. Huh? Well, <laughs> I was thinking something when you were doing it. I, I can't know what I was thinking. I can tell you what I was thinking. You can't well, tell it, me. Oh, I can explain to you what I was thinking. Should I remove this? Yeah. yeah. Move things daintily in. Oh, I'm, <laughs> so trying to I'm trying to save the plastic. <laughs> oh, okay, well, still. <laughs> <it's there. laughs> and, and I don't want to destroy the frames either. Uh, there's a lot of money in there.
pray to, to life, to, to, but not to the dead. This is, there's too much violence implied and sadness implied in all of that. We, we need to be grateful for life. It has to be about joy. I don't want to leave any message of sadness, but of my question burden, is, of weight. And, but is that the truth though, about, about this religion and about what, what uh, you've depicted? Is it that that person is praying to the I don't know what that death? religion is about. I don't know that I understand anything. All I know is that I understand I have a discomfort with this and I feel I have a need. And, and, if, and if painting is what I'm supposed to do, and this is what I'm supposed to do, this is my legacy. Everything we do in life, every act we pose, we make, is a legacy of, of who we are. So this obviously is part of everything that I have Every, every action I have, I have made. And, it's, and, and perhaps the greatest gift that I can do is, is, that I, is, is not necessarily the painting. Maybe the greater gift for me is to be able to destroy them. Hmm. Maybe, th and, and you're kind enough to, to, to film this and, and you're helping me make a gift. Hmm. To see that there is something more important than, than this, than art, than vanity, than... than then, uh, you know, there is a lot of desire of, of not wanting to die also in, in artists and wanting to, something to remain forever. But that's not what really matters. And maybe the greater gift I have is not to create all of these paintings, but to show you how it can be destroyed and it doesn't matter. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, I know this okay. looks like folly, and maybe it is, but it is calculated folly. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I think it was, do you know the, the metaphor of uh, Plato in, in the cave with all the children? No. Well, it's a long story, I won't go into it, but the, the one child that got away and that got out of the cave right. and came back to tell that everybody thought, and, and came back to tell the other children that there's something else out there, there is a light, there is a greater. What we thought, all these shadows we see on the walls, this is not the truth, this is not life. And you can be free, I'll help you, I'll set you free. And, and the others, you know, they, 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 they didn't want to be set free, they wanted to remain there. So to all the children, that one who got away, who got free, mm -hmm. then went outside the cave and saw a light beyond the fire that was in the cave, but to saw the true light that was outside in the sun and, and his image in the water. To them, he looked like the madman. Mm -hmm. But where was he? So, so, I may look like I'm mad, uh, and I may be, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's great fun to be mad. Yeah, let's see. All right, so goodbye. to make a Christian brothers. I tell you what, your own paintings of your house are trembling right now. They are, they? sign of guilt setting in and you're sweating from all your 
your bad deeds. <laughs> this is clearly an indication of hyperactivity in your mind and body. The devil is sweating. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And Johnny one of these days, done. yep, one of these days you're going to say the devil made me do it. <laughs> I really, really. Me too. <laughs> why do you, why, why, you know, well, it, we've gone through that already, but you know what? Listen. Hey. When Abraham was know. asked to sacrifice a child. Oh, Abraham? Was, yeah, wasn't it the Abraham? Yes. Okay. I've heard him several times. Was he, was he asked to sacrifice a goat? No, his own child. No, no, no. no. So. I don't think God has asked me to sacrifice him. This is my child. I don't think and so. And no sheep either. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? I would like parts of this painting. Eh? I would like parts of this painting. You'd like parts of it? Yeah. Parts? I would like to have, I like how you did the, um, the roof. The roof? How did you, what? You know, the roof, yeah, just, a, just like a slice of it. And I like, I like, I was just reading a book today. I'll tell you what's wrong with this painting first. Yeah. It's Father and Son at the Altar. Right. That's the title. Yeah. And it's two people yeah. stuck to tradition. Yeah. Now, if you want, for the moment, let's forget about religious tradition there. Mm. Mm. Family tradition. Mm. The family traditions that are best being rid of. From really? generation to generation to generation, people pass on their same bad behaviors, their same ill modes of thinking, of behavior, or whatever. Mm. The issue of legacy is important. What legacy are we going to leave? It's not because it's legacy, it's not because it comes from the ancestors that it has any worth hanging on to. Okay? Yeah. And so... But you don't think that it is possible that out of this there is some good that is being handed this is just a painting of a part of legacy there are other other aspects of legacy too and this is just a part of it yeah if, a part if, of legacy but i'm not comfortable with that legacy i don't know what this legacy is about well why don't you leave it to somebody to figure it out no uh, hold on let me show you the past that <laughs> i want <laughs> I want the head of that. See, now there's no woman in this, so you can't tell me that you're going to keep the woman or anything like that. Where's the woman? Oh, no. There's no woman, yes. There are certain parts that I want, I really like. I want to have the head of the man, that man, not the young man, but the old man. Yeah. And that, a bit of the roof. A and, bit of the roof. Yes, and the lamp. See the lamp about his head? Where? I like that, the old man's head. Oh, that left. Yeah, yeah. You want me to say those? Yeah. How about the young man? I don't, I don't care about the young man. Me neither. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, how do we cut the old man without? We need to leave some space for stretching. Oh well, don't. Huh? Don't cut up the young man. Oh, you can, you can. I mean, I'm just, yeah, just, just cut it anyhow, right. whichever way you want. Just do, just do what you want to do without cutting off the old man. That's all. You <laughs> <laughs> sinful <Simple> person. <laughs> you mad witch. <laughs> uh, well, this is. I'm just gonna have this just real good fun telling Pash about this terrible thing mm -hmm. you've done. So I'm going to have a blast telling Pash about this terrible thing you've done. You don't have to tell him, you can show him. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'm recording all that I'm telling you, too. Okay, look. Is this good? That's very good. That's it. That's good. Oh, you got the shell, too. Oh, badly cut the shell, though. Yeah, it's okay. I uh, left the tip. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's fine. You know, I... I um, <laughs> It is funny. I was thinking about this so much today, and I was reading a book, 
and I was seeing these characters in it, and I told her that today. What? And she said, about this painting, right? Oh, but I was, say? oh, I told her that, you know, that painting, that's my favorite painting. Yeah. And she knew that, she knew that already. So she, um, so anyway, so we started talking about the book I was reading, which is a book by um, um, Naipaul. You know what? Yeah. We're going to have to discuss what, what I'm going to say with this image because a lot of stuff hanging. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I. As I would say, well, go yeah. ahead, do your worst, you evil yeah, press. We'll, we'll <laughs> 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 anyway, so it's, it's by Naipaul and it's by Trinidad. And uh, oh boy, did I have a lot. It's called um, Miguel Street. Uh, you that one. Oh, you! Oh, you laugh your heart off. I'm sure you. Well. Nightfall. Nightfall. It's hard to laugh. Huh? I know. I told him. I said, I didn't know that he was funny. Nightfall. Yeah. Oh, it was so funny. I don't think he knows it either. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. So it was so funny. commentary I said I can see the devil's mark on your forehead right here right there right here I was three years old a nail just got into, see, right into right my there. forehead and left a scar for life and I was really? the beginning of it all wow yeah there is a scar it is interesting it's, it got paid with age Yeah. I tell you what, I should take a, a, a picture of it before. Looking at, at you, so. No, I'm not safe. I'm not safe. <laughs> what? I'm not safe. <laughs> Good. I don't know which woman are you doing with that. This one, when you were standing here? This one? Yeah, she was going like yeah, this. Oh, I will save her. Oh. She was like, oh. She's done nothing wrong. You evil. And actually, you can see, she's looking up. She's looking in the right direction. Ah, okay. Just like a chicken drinking water, huh? somebody who didn't like their painting and they donated it to a school. Oh, but then they just did. 
right? <laughs> Oh, it's a this is a subliminal cut. No, 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 I'm just, you know, I'm just here. I'm just, I'm just, you know. No. Okay, let me see now. If you, when you're cutting, if you could just face it directly. Well, unless you're, of course, cutting this way, then you'll see your back, but that's fine. But if you're cutting this way, if you can... You want me to face way. which way? Well, if you're you cutting this me? part, yeah, if you're cutting this part, just... Hmm. That's a familiar face. It's like one of my African brothers. Yeah. This painting I have the most problem with. Uh -huh. It has nothing also to do with this issue of the cult of the dead, I told you. You know, in the Bible, in Luke, there is that saying, uh, let the dead bury their dead. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, let them do the deed. We're about life. And also, in this kind of ceremonies, animals scream in pain. Mm -hmm. And where there is such pain, such violence, there is no God. And I don't want any part of it. So. Isn't it funny? I'm doing violence because I'm fighting well, violence. Well, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> You're glad I noticed. Yes. Yeah. That's why I was being I'm a very... I'm mad, but I'm self-aware. <laughs> yeah. See, being a very passive person, that's why I said, well, do you want to paint it? See how that guy's smiling? This one there? Yeah. This was, as a painter, this one was, was one of the faces I was most proud of. That uh -huh. sort of happened in my brush. I had nothing to do with it. It, it came, mm. and I felt it was a great painting there. Mm -hmm. But... You know what I'm hoping for? There's no God where there is spooks, what? What are you, you know, hoping I for? I was hoping that someone will come here and stand here and gape at you and try to ask you what the hell you think you're doing. And then what? To be fine to record that. <laughs> it will be fine to record that. Um, now, what are you doing? Are you filming what you're saying there? No. No. It's looking very belittled. The goat? Mm -hmm. Well, you know how they first belittle them? They cut their balls off. Wow. Occasionally, yeah. I love violence, do not they? <laughs> I mean, even destroying paintings, people have to use knives. Yeah. Are we going to save both of them or just one? Uh, you know what I like about that is that the bottles. The, the bottles? Yeah. yeah. I like the bottles. Yeah. One of the greatest spots of painting for me was the Asson. Mm. That came by itself. Mm -hmm. But the bottles, you know, the bottles? Yeah, I like those bottles. Wait a minute, if I want to. I may not be able to save the bottles. Huh? No, it just it doesn't Did matter. You save Mm. No, because we're not sure. No. If you're not sure, we won't. Ah! <laughs> 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 I'll give you sound effects. You mean this? <laughs> yeah. You mean that? <laughs> That's what they did to the goats, you know, yeah. live. Well, Wait, what happened to the bottles? I can't save it because I want to. Well, 
Poor little bottle. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bottle. <laughs> Yeah. You want this bottle? Yeah. <laughs> you want this bottle? Yep, it looks naked, but I'll have it. Mm. Yeah. This was good quality canvas. Oh, I bet. But Very expensive, too. Yeah, best of women. <laughs> circumstances yeah. and I think it has remained. Yeah. Some of these my, own, my own life mm. time in Haiti has, mm. has been covered by a lot of violence, mm. political violence. And, mm. and in any situation where human beings are suffering, there is violence. Mm -hmm. And the pain of somebody who doesn't eat, who can't, who doesn't have the money to cure their children if they're sick and take them to the doctor, or doesn't know on an everyday basis has to worry about the next day's meal. Mm -hmm. This is constant, continuous, incredible violence. Which one was that? I don't know, do you remember that song? Was it a Paul Enka song? Mm, I don't remember. I have to tell you, that tape you made for me. The CD? I like that CD. Yeah. I love it. Really? I love it. Yeah. I played my own. I wake right up now. in the morning, I listen to it. Yeah. I go to bed at night, I listen to it. Oh, good. The ones I buy are not giving me such pleasure. Well. <coughs> I recall. Even the Leonard Cohen, I, yeah. I like that one song. Yeah. But it is not, it's not vibe, not yeah. enough variety. I don't know. Musically speaking, yeah. it bores me. I think, you know, I think you should let me make. I know the songs you like. Eh? I know the songs you like. So you should let me pick them for you. And then what? And then return the CDs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> uh, but did you, did you send it? Did you, have you thought about sending it back, them back? Well, the... the I mean, the learn, learn... What? The sending ones. them back? Yeah. Well, I do want to keep that song. But if you take it with you, then for... Yeah, just take it. and then you take and you take it back, and we say, you know what? Let's have another because he has other ones. He has another one that I think is just incredible. The one that has Suzanne and the rest. Oh, okay. It's awesome, and I think they, will, you know. Well, that 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 woman, I want to take back. That that. Destroying her painting, she doesn't like them. What? <laughs> all that work and time, patience. And I've come down to that, huh? Yeah, I see. She wouldn't listen to me. I wish you were here before. <laughs> yes. 
bless him. Well, at least your prayers were answered today. Yeah, you can, I said, you know, I hope somebody comes to ask you. See, uh, <laughs> and there you showed up. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? I said. What did he say? What did he say? Oh, you're going to have to beg me for me to tell you. This is just too good. This is, uh, I refuse to, uh, I'm going to save all this. Oh! <laughs> you me I'm going to save all this. This is just great. Yeah, I thought I was going to be forever indebted to you. Uh, uh, this, is, this is just so good, what he said. What did, what did he say? Oh, oh, please. You're going to have to beg for a while. This is I not beg. one of those quick, instantaneous things. <laughs> Let me see. Let me throw on this. <laughs> are you sure you're on your knees? What did he say? Ah, you are. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought, <laughs> I thought, oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one. All done. Happy? Happy. Uh, see? Clean hands. I see blood dripping. Clean hands. Where I see hands, you see dripping hands. <laughs> you see clean hands. Clean hands. Uh, isn't that amazing? Okay. Okay, so I think this we're done. Gotta go back in now. How do I do it? Okay.